Hello, hello, happy Trailer Tuesday. I got hubby Steve with me today and we're gonna tell you about our first time out in our glamped up camper. And it was fun, let me just say that right off the bat. But before we get started, let me show you us getting started. <laughs> okay, we may actually be driving out the driveway. We were shooting for nine, it's 10.38. We were ready before nine. And it was so exciting because we were ready before nine, but then he's got this new sway bar and we're new to this trowing this trailer and the hitch just didn't seem right. And his brother came down and they got tools out and messed with it and they're both happy. So two heads is better than one. The brothers were at it. So we're hitched up and he's just gonna pull up a car to our driveway. Um, and then we're off. Our first inaugural trip with our trailer? Yes. And hoping everything works and doesn't fall off on the way up. I don't know why. We've, we've, we've had trailers for years, and I'll, but I'm still as nervous as the first time I got a trailer. I know. Me too. I'm uh, very nervous. So it's the biggest one. I'm we've scared. Uh, I know. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so that was us getting on the road, and yes, we had a little snafu with the hitching process. It's a bigger trailer than we're used to, and um, Hubby picked up a sway bar at the last minute, and it just was hard to get going. Yeah, yeah. We worked it out, though. Just needed a bigger wrench for most of the stuff. Oh, well, that sounds easy. Yeah. So the towing, you got a bug. The towing was not a problem. We were both nervous about it, but it seemed fine. I mean, I wasn't driving, but it seemed fine. Yeah, except once we got up there, I realized that the hitch had pivoted quite a bit, and we, we weren't really getting any kind of leveling with the trailer. Uh -huh. But it still worked out. Once we got up there, we fixed it. And setup was pretty easy. I mean, we're used to major setup with our hybrid. We'd have to open the trailer and make the beds. And then when you leave, you have to close the trailer and unmake the beds, put everything away, and we didn't have to do that. No, it was so nice. That was probably my favorite part, was just park it and, you know, hook everything up, level it, and you're done. Yeah, and a lot more room, too. So oh, nice. my gosh. Yeah. Not just room inside, but room for putting things away. In the hybrid, we didn't have anywhere to put anything, so it was just there. And uh, much as we loved the hybrid, this was better. So right there is our campground, our RV park, a little walking trail underneath this freeway, and there's Target. Look how close it is. It's right there. Our first night, we slept great. I slept great. Did you sleep great? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we had lots of pillows. Maybe not enough for him, but you know, you got to get yourself situated a certain way. Uh, the wedding was really fun. We uh, helped set up, and I talked a little bit about the wedding and showed a few pictures in my Friday sews, but I want to do it again because we had a good time. Uh, hubby was very spiffy in his new suit. I was sporting. Yeah. Yep. I was looking good. We looked like prom couple. Yes. Actually, we went to the prom together in high school. That's true. <laughs> true story. We looked just as good. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. 
Anywho, uh, we did win the longest married couple, 38, almost 38 years. And the one below us was just one year. We were 30, we're, so we're 37, we'll be 38 in October, and they were 36. Wow, yeah. Usually you gotta be 50, married 50 to win these things. I we, shoot a lot of weddings and I'm surprised that we were the couple that was last on the yeah. floor. <laughs> yeah, usually it's like a 50, they have a 50. That'll be a while for us, we're not even at 40 yet. So yeah, but that was fun. And it was very small, super sweet, and I want to say, um, what a sweet um, friendship group my granddaughter has, her, her and her new husband. They were just fun to watch. They were just the most amazing kids, you know, and starting out their lives. There was a lot of newly married, some babies, and many that are going to be married. It was just really fun to watch. And I think one of my favorite moments, besides all the normal stuff, and watching my granddaughter cut up the dance floor, the one that's only seven, <laughs> she would not stop dancing. Oh my gosh, hold on, I just gotta show you a little bit of her dancing. Okay, that was fun to watch. We could watch her. Well, we did. We watched her the whole time. Uh, but when they were leaving, they got to exit. And Hubby does wedding photography, so he sees a lot of weddings. And they don't always exit. But exit is kind of cool to send them off. So they did a little gauntlet. They ran through everybody clapping their hands. And then they went out and got in their car. And before they could back out, everyone surrounded their car and was just beating on it, beating on it. And they honked a few times. And they drove off. And so I thought it was over. Turned off my camera. But I started hearing singing. And the crowd of young people was singing. Okay, so I put the dog in the house and he's still barking. You have to ignore that. I can't get him to quit. He does not obey me. He's very spoiled. He so the song they were singing in the parking lot was Let Me Call You Sweetheart. That was so precious. So precious. So we went back and just kind of just went to bed and slept really good and woke up in the morning and we all went to church. The whole family met up at church and even the new couple was at church. Yep. That was pretty sweet. And then we left with the grandkids. And honestly, I have to say, like the whole time we're glamping up this trailer, one of the things I was looking forward to the most is having the kids spend the night in the trailer with us. Yeah really just couldn't wait and they couldn't wait either they were just so excited about it and so <laughs> it's so fun to be somebody's special event that yeah. won't last forever we know this yeah. they do grow up and get married and then your grammy and grandpa you never see them but they're still at that age where we're the special thing in their life and that was really fun so we took them we got them some lunch and then we went out and played miniature golf they've never played before they're seven and eight that was so fun and it was so fun it was so fun at, at first they were trying to figure out how to play and about halfway through they really didn't care anymore so we were just like hit it as many times as it takes just get it in the <laughs> hole it was so cute so miniature golf was super fun and then we went to the sporting goods store and bought fl uh, kites to fly kites and we had a nice trail um they just ran and ran and they got the idea of the kites. I don't think they'd ever done kites before. And we didn't have enough wind to really catch it big, but they got it up there pretty good. They were blown away that they went up so high in the sky. I don't I think they'd ever seen a kite before. I don't know, it's crazy. Good, Jamie. How'd you get it up there so high? Keep going that way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I gotta untangle a little more string. Okay. Look at this! Oh my gosh! It's way up there! Woo! Look at you! You're doing so good! 
of just watching them run with those kites yeah. was so adorable. Yeah. They were so determined. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> and it was funny because they didn't understand that the wind was going one direction. So Sis would run this way and then she'd run back that way and it'd come right back down again. And I'm like, go the other way. And it's like, no, they, they, they you know, run out of room. And I'm like, well, you got to start over again. You can only go one way. Yeah. It was cute. They learned a little bit of aerodynamics. I think so. And then we went out to eat at Denny's because that's our thing. It's like a date. It's like a date. As we went back to the trailer and we decided to watch a movie. The kids picked Rat Race. They've already seen it before, but they were pretty adamant that they both would want to see that. And we folded down the couch, got a bunch of pillows, and we just watched a movie. It was fun. They stayed for the stayed for the whole thing. They laughed their little heads off the whole time. It's a good movie if you haven't seen it. It's hilarious. It's kind of like it's a mad, 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 mad world from the 60s. Have you seen that? That is one of my favorite all-time movies. And the rat race is kind of like a remake of that. They have all the funniest people. It's it's really good. So we watched that. And then um, for sleeping, they separated us. <laughs> So Sis wanted to sleep with me in the girls' room, and then Boogies wanted to sleep with, uh, Jamie wanted to sleep with Grandpa, and they made a boys' room. So uh, we folded out the dinette and the sofa, and um, Boogie set them both up for you. It was so cute. Let me just show this. <laughs> I made it. it was bed. Show me. Oh, my knee, I made it. You made Grandpa's bed? So you want him to sleep with you? <clears throat> and where are you sleeping, Missy? With you. Yeah. You want to sleep with me? In here. Oh. He gets a nice light. Yeah, okay. And you made this nice bed for him. And then you... So this is the boys' room then. Yeah. Let's check out the girls' room. This is the girls' room? Yep, this is me right next to you. I'm going to be right next to you? Yep. Aww. And there's a little light there. A little light right there? And we're going to snuggle. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, you got it all nice and dark in here. It looks pretty comfy. Okay, so you see how cute they are, right? They set it all up, and Sis was excited to, like, sleep with me, and uh, that was super cute. And um, I, I was like, I had a pillow, and I was kind of hugging it. I like to hug a pillow when I'm sleeping. And she looked at me, and she goes, Grammy, you don't need to snuggle that pillow. You can snuggle me. <laughs> I, I hope I never forget that. In my, I'm like, I will. I will snuggle you. So I woke up to hear chattering in the other room. So the boys were up and Jamie was chattering away. And he's a quiet, quiet kid. So it's neat to hear him chatter and know that he's comfortable with us. He was just talking your ear off in there. I loved it. Yeah. So we got up and had breakfast. And then I pulled out the, um, the purchases they had made for the trailer. I don't know if I uh, talked about it in another video that they could buy something that wasn't a toy. It had to be some activity. And um, Jamie got a um, puzzle game and Sis got glitter pens coloring. And so they were just having a blast with those. They played with those and played with those. And let me just show you a little bit of that. <laughs> Grandpa, fold up the couch. Me. Whoa. Poof! Magic! Yeah. This puzzle looks really cool. Yeah. What do you think? Do you like this puzzle or do you like your coloring books? Love my puzzle. No? Hmm. Are we missing a piece? No. Oh. You got two. See, go tall and then shorter. Next up. There you go. We did it. Yay. Okay, we need the green piece. Green. This one right here. No, we need this green piece. Oh, okay. All right, so this piece. I just put it up here. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> you want to do the sunset next? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Jamie quickly went from the easiest puzzle to the hardest, and then he stopped doing puzzles and had other people doing puzzles as he directed. Right. <laughs> he was the conductor. <laughs> He's like, okay, you've done that one. Now do this one. Okay, you've done that one. Now do this one. It was super cute. And then we returned them, and it was like the trip was pretty much over at that point. Uh, we just kind of um, had a leisurely evening. I think we grabbed food. Um, we ate out most of the time. I don't think we cooked anything in our trailer except oatmeal, which was fine. Uh, we were in town, and um, the the RV park is super nice and clean. They have good facilities. They're right by the water. I've shown you that. And um, it's an RV park is mostly usually just like a parking lot. Yeah. of RVs. It's not for the camping experience. It's not for setting out your stuff and sitting up at the picnic table. Although people do. There's a picnic table. But mostly it's just uh, people coming and going, coming and going. Those RVs are in and out all the time. Like every, you, you know, you wake up in the morning and it's a whole different configuration. Yeah. Um, but I kind of like that. It's, we weren't there to camp. We were there for sleeping. That was our sleeping. We are so enjoying this trip. We're on our last day. Steve's out working on the hitch. And I thought I'd give you a tour. It's so much easier to keep this trailer clean, kind of clean, than the um, hybrid, which was so crowded. It was always a mess. Uh, we have so much storage, we can put things away. And I thought I would just take you on a little tour of the last day, which should be the worst, especially after having grandchildren overnight. So starting over here, we had the beds all out for the kids, but it's pretty much put back. Just a bunch of stuff, junk over there. Buster, enjoying himself. A little leftover from kid crafting here. And this is where we're keeping the food for now, but I am thinking of changing it. I think I want pots and pans down there and food up here just be easier to get to. I don't know, thinking about it. And kitchen. Got some snacks for tomorrow. And we're doing mostly dish drying right here. Bathroom's working out great. And bedroom, amazing. Super easy to just throw this comforter on and bed be made. We've got a couple of dirty clothes bags. We're filled up. And then I'll just take those in and throw them in the wash. And that's that. So. It's been great, just great. Love it. And the drive home was beautiful. And uh, if I haven't shown you some of the Redwood Forest, um, I'll show you that now. It's just a beautiful drive yeah. until you get past Clear Lake and then it's bleh. Yeah. And it was funny that I think the biggest kind of event on the drive home was just leaving 65 degrees and ending up at 105 degrees. 65, 105, very different. In a couple hours, yeah. It's crazy when you get away from the coast. I just, I just ah, couldn't believe it. But it did give me a taste of cool weather and now I'm ready for fall. You know, that 105, ouch. And our daughter and her family, they left the same exact time we did, and they got home only one hour sooner than us. So even though we were pulling the trailer, it didn't take us that much longer to get home. No. Nope. Which was pretty great. And yeah. we did hit some traffic here and there, which, well, well, the trailer is so hard, you know. People are not very friendly about, like, pulling and changing lanes and all of that. People just aren't nice about that. Part of trailer life. I guess. So we got home and unpacking was really easy because um, it was all in the trailer. We didn't have a bunch of suitcases and bags and stuff. Um, I've gotten pretty good about like bringing bins. Like I have all of our vitamins are in bins in the kitchen. So I just bring the bins out to the trailer and put the bins back in the kitchen. And toiletries, I did that very similar to what I did there. And um, it was just, it was just easy. I don't know why it was just easy. Yeah. But uh, we set it back up in our driveway and we got home in the light so we were able to back it up into the driveway. We're going to find a home for it. Probably where I'm pointing, like you know, where the hybrid is, is going to be where the new trailer is going to go and the hybrid is going to get a new spot until maybe, I think we might sell it next spring. I don't know. It's hard to let go of it. 
I love it so much. It's hard to let go, but I don't see us camping in it now that we've been in this one. Yeah. But, yeah. um, so we set it up in the driveway and somebody broke our TV, our brand new TV. Let me show you that. Okay, so what did you do? I took our brand new TV and reshaped it a little bit. Um, this pullout <clears throat> was all the way in. This TV was right behind this. I didn't know it had caught on it. And as you can see, there's a nice little, you know, I'd say four inch crack in the TV. It's brand new. Yeah. Now, so do you feel good about that? In my defense, I did hear it bust. So I stopped. At How the does that defend yourself? It didn't go any further. <laughs> I don't think that's going to change anything. <laughs> but it uh, pretty it's still much got the tag work. on it. I know, right? And it's an energy saver. <laughs> so that's <Stop>. good. <laughs> so you clearly don't feel bad about this at all. Well, look at it. In my defense, the back's right here. You don't even see it. It's behind See, there's it. no remorse. There is no remorse. You and think it's funny. I, I, I know better next time. I'll put it that way. <laughs> How many TVs do you want to go through? Uh, I need to change the whole mount system. Oh, well, that's good then. We learned something. Yes. Okay, well, there's the saving grace. Yes. All right, well, boo on you. Boo-hoo. Okay, so we thought it was funny, the whole video. Do you think it was funny? I thought it was really interesting and unexpected. It's brand new. Did I say that? It is, well... It still has the <clears throat> label on it. As Peter Sellers would say, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I did buy the warranty and he thinks it's returnable. We'll see. I don't. Yeah. We broke it. I don't uh, see how that's returnable. That's what it looked like in the box, man. So, um, decor wise, it was great. I do want to decorate. It's not decorated. It has a few things, but I do want to decorate. And one of the first things is the backsplash. I, I have that on order. It should be here before my next week's video. So that's my next focus. And that's all really to do. I don't have any more to do's except decorating. And while I do want to decorate it for uh, my final reveal and walkthrough, I also would like those decorations to stay. So I don't want just things that are just for that photo shoot or that, that day. I want them to be for the trailer. So I've got a lot of thinking to do. I'm not a natural born decorator. So I have to look at some pictures. <laughs> I need to go look at some pictures. But it was great. We loved it. Any last words? Um, no, I, I think, uh... You know, I suppose one shock was gas mileage. We didn't get very good gas mileage, but that's, that's that, we gas, expected that. I don't so. know where you are, but gas is pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of a, a pricey uh, gas very trip. Pricey. Very but pricey. Uh, no, I think everything everything fit together really well for the first shakedown. There was no major problems at all. It was uneventful. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. If you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up and a comment for hubby. <laughs> I'll tell him, whatever you say. Uh, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.